Hey guys, it's me K1 from Camp Production. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm back with another tutorial. This tutorial is gonna be kind of different from my previous one because I'm gonna show you how you can get parallax effect uh, using Photoshop. Now if you don't know what parallax effect is, basically it's a very trendy thing on Instagram. Nowadays I see a lot of people do it, a lot of artists, a lot of creative content creative. Um, so basically you take a photo, right? This photo has a subject and the background and you wanna bring back this photo to life. So how you can do it, it's a very simple trick in Photoshop and you can also do it in Adobe After Effects if you wanna you know, do it in, very profession in a very professional way. But in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can do it in Photoshop. So before we jump into Photoshop, let me explain how this process will be. So you have to make two specific layers for subject and the background. And then you have to add a timeline and then add a keyframe. It's just basically like simple trick on Adobe Premiere. And then from the keyframe, first frame to the last frame, and then you have to scale it. Whatever you like, play around, and then you get this look, as you can see from the screen. And that's it. So yeah, guys, so without further ado, let's just jump to Photoshop. But before we jump to, as always, <laughs> make sure you go check out my store. There's a lot of uh, preset bundle. There's a lot of overlays, uh, free buy stuff, you know. Uh, check it out, You might it might be interesting. Uh, so yeah, guys, so without further ado, let's just jump into Photoshop. All right, guys, so right now we are in Photoshop and I have this picture here of Alan Palander. Uh, that I'm going to make a parallax effects out of it. So this is a really good example because as you can see we have a sharp subject in the middle and a kind of blurry background. Also notice something else that there has to be uh, an ending point somewhere. For, for example we have an ending point here. Uh, usually if the subject is like the whole subject is here with feet and everything probably wouldn't work that well so guys let's cut to the chase and let me show you how we can do it so first of all I'm gonna select the subject that we have so I usually use quick selection tool and I'm gonna zoom in here I will make my brush a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna select like this now you can use pen tool just like more efficiently but I honestly like this because it's really fast and you can always you know bring back the area that are missed and you can always fix it if there is something wrong you can fix it with uh, select and mask but if you want to go very efficient if you want to take more time you can go with pen tool and if you don't know how to use pen tool for selection there's a lot of tutorials out there in YouTube and then if you want to let's say if you want if you went too far from the selection you have to hold option if you're using Mac and I think you have to hold alt in Windows um, so pretty much like this you're bringing back the selection I think it's very it done, it done a really good job alright so as you can see we have a proper selection here uh, now one thing I just realized is um, the selection here is kinda off so we have to fix it with select and mask so to do that all you have to do is just click on select and mask and then make sure the transparency it's kind of low so you can see everything and then make sure you choose the second brush here and just paint over this the, the area that are missed um, for example here see that's the only thing that you have to be really careful when you're using quick selection tool see this kind of stuff you know right, we have here the hair you can click OK alright guys so when you're happy with the selection all you have to do is just command uh, C to copy the selection and then command V to basically uh, duplicate the subject. So now we have the subject duplicated. And as you can see, now we're gonna double click on the background and unlock the layer. And I'm gonna hold command and uh, click on the subject so we can have the selection back. And after that, I'm gonna expand the selection uh, with going to modify expand and I'm gonna choose by 20 or 25 25 could be good click OK uh, make sure you don't go too much I think I have extra selection here which is not good so after that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hide the subject layer and then I'm gonna remove the subject uh, out of the background and to do that all you have to do is just hold shift and then click delete uh, if you're using Mac 
If you're using Windows, you have to go with Shift and Backspace. So now make sure you choose the contents uh, to Content Aware, and then make sure you have a color adaptation checked on, because it will, uh, you know, match the contrast between the 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 colors and the texture in the background. So make sure the opacity also is 100. So then click OK, and that's what you what we're gonna do. It will remove the background. Um, it's not that good, but it's it's really good for the parallax effect. We're, we don't need that much of a, of a space in the background. We're gonna cover this anyway. But if you wanna go in detail, uh, you can just do this and spam tool it here like this. In my case, I don't wanna you know I don't wanna use this. Alright guys, so after this whole process, uh, you have to make sure that you are going to convert your layer, your both layer to smart object. Now, the reason is because a uh, smart object uh, maintain the quality as it is. So when you move, when you crop it, when you resize it, uh, the quality will be the same. So that's what I really like about smart object. So after this, we have to go and create a new uh, document. And this document will be a uh, film and video document. Make sure you choose HD TV 1080. Uh, make sure the width is 1920, 1080, resolution 72, and then click OK. Basically, we uh, we just created a document for film and video. So all you have to do is just um, choose both and just move around to this. As you can see, the file are kind of you know bigger, but Control T or Command T, and then com Command Zero, so you can fit the screen. And then we're going to gradually uh, fit our subject and background into the frame. Click OK. All right, so now we need to create a timeline here. So we're going to go to Window. Um, and then we have Timeline here. And then make sure you click on Create Video Timeline. And boom, so we got the timeline. And then Command-0 again to fit the screen. Um, Command-H to remove this, you know, uh, borders. All right, so now after we have our main uh, timeline here, uh, if you're familiar with Adobe Premiere and keyframing after effect, you know, uh, here we have three keyframes, uh, transform, opacity, style. So we're gonna work only with transform. So make sure you add the add one of the keyframe here from the first uh, frame. And now make sure you add another keyframe to the late to the last uh, you know frame. So after you did, make sure you click on our command T to resize it. So now I'm gonna make my make sure the background is going is getting closer here. There, pretty much something like that. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna do the same thing for our subject. Uh, click on trans transform here. Uh, add a keyframe here, and then add another keyframe here to the last frame, and then play with it. In my case, I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, hold Shift while you're doing this. Maybe I will make it smaller. Yeah, that would in that that would be better. So I'm gonna make it smaller here. All right, click OK. If you preview it, this is the result. So yeah, guys, it's very easy, very simple. <laughs> simple. <laughs> very very nice. It's it's a very professional look. Um, so if you liked it guys, um, make sure to give a big thumbs up. So yeah guys, that's it pretty much. Uh, it's very simple and it's very easy. It's not like a really huge process to do. So yeah, if you, if you learned something today, make sure to give a big thumbs up. Also don't forget to like and uh, subscribe. Also don't forget to follow me on all social platform at it's K1. And if you want to support my channel, please go ahead, check out my store. The link will be in the description. There might be a lot of interesting stuff that you might get like preset and stuff all of my preset bundles are are in my store so yeah have a great time and i see you in the next video